Hi everyone, the Pokemon fan, 993 are here, back with more Pokemon Scarlet. So during the last episode, uh, we made our way to the school. After defeating the last Team Star crew, Caspia turned out to be the true boss of Team Star. We made our way back to the school. Uh, Clive was really Dr. Quaba, which we thought he was. And then he told us he was Caspia, but it really wasn't, so we bailed him. And now, what I was going to do is I was going to uh, go to the Pokemon League and deal with the Pokemon League. Uh, but I actually scrapped my previous video because there was a point where I, I went from the school to from the Pokemon League. And the reason that I scrapped the video was because of a certain thing that they that they hit, made you do in this game. And with my memory the way it is, it seems like it's kind of just being um, the way it is. But here's the problem. Um, so they made you do a champion's assessment here. Basically, you answer a series of questions, and if you screw up one of the questions, you basically have to do the whole interview over again. I actually got angry, because one of the questions requires you to remember which badge, what badge gave you the most trouble, and then you have to answer which um, leader had that badge. So, here's the thing about that. I don't remember. Like, it, it's such so infuriating to know. That I, that I couldn't do anything about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my menu, and I'm going to try to give him a fake... I'm going to try to give him a fake one because I don't remember anything about the... um about which one actually gave me the hardest time because I wasn't... I, I don't remember. Like, the, the names and the people you had to face, they don't match. For example, like, none of this stuff is really, like... Some of the words in this game are really, like, not made for English speakers, as you could say. So I think Casper is the one where, um, I think this is the one where uh, Kafu was. So I believe I'm just going to do a quick look over all, all the stuff that I've done so far to make sure I'm not thinking of a different po different person. So it's Kofu and it's Kasakarfa. So let's try this again. I see how you'd answer certain questions that you might not have to remember how to do it. Remember how to do. Like, I just, it really frustrated me to the point that I was going to keep continuing on the video. It was about 16 minutes in. I was going to keep going, but it just seemed like I was just doing, I was making the same mistake over and over again. So I decided to stop it because I was getting a little, a little stressed from it. So I do know after this, though, you had to face him. This, uh, I believe his name is, I forget what they, what they call him. It's, uh. They don't remember his name. That's the problem. I don't remember any of the... Rika. Yeah. I have eight. So how you can immediately tell if you failed this exam essentially is if you choose the wrong one. I wrote my Pokemon to get here, which I did. You... Essentially, the thing will end there. So we went to Narjuna Academy is where I went. You came to be a champion. I want to bound the Mona. It's Carrera Gym. And that was definitely Kofu. All right, so I painted past that part at least. Glad you seem to remember. So the actually doesn't check which team you actually had the hardest with. You just got to answer both those questions as the same one. Kofu used was, was water. That's not hard to remember. But you see, if you go into this and you don't remember which gym and which thing, you literally have to go through, like, you'd have to look it up in order to remember which one is which. And with my memory the way it is, my memory is weird because I'll remember, like, the smallest things about useless shit. But then when it comes to the important stuff, that's when I forget stuff. That's why during, like, history exams, like, in school, I wasn't very good at it because, one, I didn't like history. Two, my memory was so fogged up because of how much information they give you. And that's why I actually failed history three times when I was in school, when I was in high school. Principle is necessary for champion is no testament, it's no small feat. Must a lot of Pokemon to get he here, Phoenix. Please don't tell me he's going to ask me any Pokemon I've seen so far. What's the character of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Oh, yeah. That was Sp Spurgato. That was, that was easy to remember. Please forgive me, I'm going to repeat a previous question. Can I become champion? I want to battle the Mona. That's what I said the first time. Ah, yes, that's right. And that's the final question for this interview. Of 
course I do. That's kind of a stupid question to add right at the end there. The answer obviously would be yes. Good job, kiddo. Now that wraps up the interview. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Phoenix. You passed the part, first part of the champions ass assessment. Honestly, I don't know how you bungled it. Why you bung? How you? Why you bungled it before? But anyway, it's time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The next segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you're facing the Elite Four in the Pokemon battles. Just like the regular game. I guess it's pretty obvious with the name of the test, huh? Anyway, the battle firstly has to offer. You're facing us in a row. No turning back. Don't be a kickball. I promise you that. Make sure you're ready to go and, and go into the room behind me. Okay, so it seems I just screwed up the uh, the name and the, and the gym leader. Like I said, my memory is really weird with that. So we're going to enter here because I have a feeling we're strong enough to deal with this. Oh, yes. In between episodes, I also taught my Pokemon a few other moves that I, the scrap recording I told you about. I taught um, Cyclozar Fire Fang, and I taught Espartha. Um, what was that move? Flash Cannon. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Good old Rico will be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. You're challenged by Rika of the Elite Four. Ooh, that's not a good start for me. To start with, which guys I start with? Plamont. So let's have a look at his levels. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. Okay, so we are high level, at least in this stage. So we're going to switch to Masquerada. Which guy's most likely going to go for a ground move knowing that Palmont is an electric Pokemon? So. And grass, ground does not do much against grass Pokemon, so this, whatever move he used, should not do much damage. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. And also Masquerada is going to get a little bit of his HP back because of the leftover she has. So, I don't know if it's, uh, their Pokemon have items. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to go for Flower Trick. Flower Trick will be four times effective, and if it doesn't have a, anything that stops it, that should be a one-shot. All right, good. So, my first choice was kind of kind of, was pretty bad, but I managed to bounce back from that. And Masquerade is going to get a little more HP back again because of the uh, leftover she has. Excuse me one second. I got to throw my phone away again because people like to message me once again while I'm recording. Camera up is the next one. Fire Ground. So... Um, yeah, because this is a little tough. A fire ground, though. I think we can keep Masquerade in. If it is fire ground or fire rock, that means my flower trick attack will be re regularly effective. Hoping that means that I might, I'm not, probably won't one shot it, but I might be able to two shot it. Yeah, okay, so it's hanging on. It's probably going to go for, goes for yawn, okay. So I think he's a ground user, because that's two ground Pokemon in a row he's fought me with. I thought he was flying. That's my own bad. But now, one more Flower Trick should knock it out, unless he goes for a full restore. And he did not. Because Elite Four members are known to do that from time to time. So unfortunately, that means my Masquerade is now basically not going to be able to do much of anything because of her falling asleep. But she did level to level 61. Yeah, definitely a ground user. Okay, so we're going to switch to Squawkabilly here. My goal here is to get Masquerade out of the confusion, out of the uh, sleeping status. So we're going to switch to Squawkability. That's going to force Donphan to use probably a Rock-type move. And Squawkability is Intimidate will lower Donphan's attack stat. So I actually could have made a slightly different decision here. I could have swapped to Graffiti and gone for U-Turn. That would allow me a free turn in. But we're going to go for Bag, and we're going to go for the Awakening that I know we have. Because I had to use one during the last battle, too, because apparently Yawn, uh, Yawn is a very common move in this game. All right. Masquerade is up. What's he going to go for? Stone Edge. I figured he was going to go for something like that. Super effective. Now we're going to swap back to Masquerade again. I thought at first the Gym Leader maybe, maybe didn't have a specific type that you have to fight. But I guess I was wrong. Stone Edge, but it actually missed. That's actually very good. Flower Trick will be super effective. 
but it's not quite enough. So it's poison jab, so, it's, so they were ready for a uh, grass-type user. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage because of Intimidate. Thank you, Squawkabilly. And Masquerade is sort of low HP left there. So I had to be careful how many, how many Flower Trips I use because I only have 10 of them. I probably could... Uh, I, prob I know I have a bunch of Aethers, but I don't like using them if I don't have to. All right. Another Pokemon down. Masquerade gets a little HP back. Thanks to Leftovers. And Psychos are leveled up. Doug Trio is the next one. I think he only has one or two Pokemon left now. Plus, they might know how to terrorize. That might be a problem at some point, too. Now, most people would have a Doug Trio with a focus set, so let's see what happens here. So I'm guessing they don't have held items. Otherwise, I can't think of another item for a Doug Trio to have that would help. It's worth a level to level 61. Masquerade gets more HP back because of leftovers. Quad Skyer. That is the final evolution of the Padian Whooper. So I'm going to keep Masquerade about, about nah, impressive. You were really something else, kiddo. So I don't know what he's going to do with Quad I don't even know if he's going to... He might... I don't know if he, what he's going to terrorize it to be a, a straight up just ground, if that's what's going to happen. Wow, actually, I was wrong. Flower Trick is not is super effective. If I was wrong right off the bat, it is not that. But he might terrorize it to be a ground type, so let's go for Flower Trick anyway. Let's finish this. Go on, Quad Scar. Shake things up a bit. Quad Sire, I should say. So if this transformed to a ground type, like I think it's going to, then the AI is very simple-minded in this game. And he did. So actually, me using Flower Trick here was actually a good thing. But I had a feeling. Because I understand that there was supposed to be like... Okay, he goes for Protect right off the bat. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Flower Trick is not going to connect and because of Protect, but the Leftovers I have on Masquerade actually gives me a slight advantage in that situation because it's going to let me restore my more of uh, Masquerade's HP. Let's try this again. Flower Trick. One shot. Nice. So I'm not sure what Cloud of Sky is... Uh, you know what? He, I think he's ground and poison. That would explain a lot because if it's ground and poison, it means Flower Trick would only do, would only do uh, normal effective damage. All right. Feed Rika of the Elite Four until my Pokemon leveled up. Not bad, kiddo. 12,296 in prize money. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it to, to pass the elite test, but who knows? You may think you might be the one who, one of the few who, that do Phoenix. Bear standing your toes the second elite four is stronger than me. You're up next to her. Come on out. Coming. Or do I not even get to heal in between turns? Or am I got? Oh, wow. Did you lose Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. Watch him decide to avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Okay, I do get an opportunity to actually uh, save. And so, um, if I was underleveled for this, I would consider saving. Um, but I don't think I really have to in this situation. We're going to use a couple potions to heal everyone up here. Use your potion, I guess. More potion. So, I don't know any of these Pokemon. Like, he's ground. Her. Let me think. Not quite yet. Um, kid, huh? Maybe fairy Pokemon? Um, let's put Graffiti up front. I'm not sure what these element, the Doom Eaters are, so let's let's try Graffiti and see what happens here. Might be Ghost, actually. I didn't think of that, because look, look at her attire. Could be fairy, though. So cool you want to make this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, mister. My Pokemon are super tough. We get text one work in the mall. They'll bounce right off. You'll see. Come here for you to meet my friends. So here they come. Bounce right off. I wonder what. You're challenged by Poppy of the Elite Four. Steel type. Ooh, that's not good. Um, This might turn out really bad for me. I really don't have a lot of moves, like anything to deal with 
a lot of these Pokemon. I'm going to go for a U-turn here. Probably going to go for a Steel-type move, right? Um... Like, I can, I can try to rely on Palmont and dig as much as I possibly can, but eventually that's not going to work. First to Palmont. Stealth Rock. Okay, that's interesting. Then again, it could still be fair. No, wait. Isn't Copper Jaw, is it just Steel and Ground? I, I don't remember what, what its typing actually is. Not like off the hand. Is it just Steel? Play Rough. Could very well be a Fairy type user. But maybe that's what she started with, just Copper Jaw. Almost knocked it out. Play rough. Plumot's hurt. I don't have a choice. I gotta go for Dig again. If I go for close combat, I lose my, defen my defenses. And if I go for double shock, I don't, I'm not going to use any more electric moves. So I gotta go for the Dig. One Pokemon down. Steel type, yeah, it's a steel type user. Okay. Well, the good news about that her switching to that is I have with it being bronzong and not pure steel, I have graffiti with knockoff, which isn't that great because it's also part psychic. But if I use Masquerada for this, like I did last like I did the last uh match, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Luckily, hopefully she didn't use too many new Pokemon and I don't that way I don't forget what I'm supposed to be doing. So we're switching to Masquerada. Switch to Bronzong. And the dug, stones dug into me, so that's something that I should have expected. So knockoff will, will do the most damage here, regardless if it has an item or not. Iron Head. Pretty decent damage. I'm going to restore a little HP with the leftovers. I just remember Masquerade might be the MVP of this entire, entire league. So regardless of what actually happens here, if I lose or win this match, I'm actually going to save. And I'm going to continue the other two Elite Four in another video. And if I have enough time during that next video, I might do the champion too. Corviknight's next. Ooh, that's a that's a problem. Um, Kind of a problem. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to Cyclozar here. Cyclozar has Fire Fang, which is going to be good for Steel types. I'm kind of glad I taught up that. So, I'm going to guess that Corbin has got to have some kind of move to deal with fire types. Probably Earthquake. So, I'm going to see how much... Yeah, my points aren't stuck. The stones are going to dig into him. Corbin is probably going to make me use twice the amount of power points I normally use. So, I'm going for Fire Fang to see how much damage it actually does. But, of course, I miss it because of 5% accuracy. Go for Iron... Yeah, it's going to it's gonna pop up its d defense and go for Body Press. It's not good. It might That might finish me right there. I don't have anything really that great to deal with Pokemon like that. Unless I burn it. Yeah. That's going to knock out Psychozar. I think I'm already done, guys. I don't know. I'm not... I don't have any fire Pokemon. I don't have anything to deal... Like, none of my moves will deal enough damage. Plumont, though, might do enough. But I still feel I need to deal more damage before I can do that. I guess I'm going to use Masquerade here. Master Ray is not a good matchup, but I can deal some damage. Is Palmont electric ter terrorized? It is. So let me just let me just check something real quick. Palmont's speed is 147. Okay. Meaning if, if Carbonite outspeeds Masquerade here, it's over, essentially. So we're gonna go for a knockoff. I don't know how fast Corviknight is. I don't think Corviknight's meant to be really fast, but we're going for another body press. It's going to knock me out. So this will come down to whether how how fa if Pama is faster, I win this particular setup. If Pama if I'm not fast enough, then it's over, essentially. I forgot about the stones. Okay, I'm still alive. Double shock. My Pokemon Lord and Flamethrower would be a good Pokemon move for it to have. Squabbly could hurt Lord and Heatwave, but I don't think that's really going to be that great of an option, considering Squabbly is meant to be... Okay, I go first. I might, have a, I might have a chance here. Double Shock. 
paralyze. Okay, good. I lost sterilization. That was a good Pokemon Pokemon to use it on. Use the ball on Tristan. I can't use Double Shock anymore. It's Magnezone is next. So, actually, uh, Magnezone is going to be up in the air whether I beat this or not. Because... No, let's go for close combat. I was going to say that I could use Dig, but if it has Levitate, then that's not going to help me at all. Okay, so Sturdy lets him endure the hit, so I'm going to lose. Unless Manzone goes for something else, I'm fine. it depends what he goes for. He goes for Light Screen. Okay, that's not terrible. That could have been a lot worse. So I'm going to go for one more close combat, because Palmont, regardless, Palmont's probably going to die from the next Pokemon anyway. But this, the good news is that there's not going to be two Steel... Elite Fours or Champion. So if I manage to get past the Steel Eater with my lack of Fire Pokemon, I should be fine. Okay, I don't know anything about Tinkerton. Um, unfortunately, my thing doesn't know much about it either. So let's keep Palma in and see what happens. I'm scared my last Pokemon will turn things around. I'm not scared my last Pokemon will turn things around. The chance that he she terrorizes him into a Steel type is probably going to be very, very high. So I'm going to assume she's going to do that, so I'm going to go for a dig. Time to get dressed up. Oh, pretty tinky. So yeah, she's going to terrorize it to steal. I'm going to go underground. And um, I'm going to go for dig. So my objective here for this particular battle, I don't know how strong Tinkerton's stats are. So I'm hoping that a combination of dig and close combat will be enough to knock it out. Because if, if I'm fast in that, which is probably going to be a thing... I should be able to go underground, hit it for some damage, and then close combat next turn. Play rough, so yeah. I was not expecting a, a, her to be steel, though. I gotta give her that. Steel hard Pokemon always gets a solid victory, so I'm gonna win. I forgot Giga he actually is gonna get a shot in, so Gigaton Hammer is gonna knock me out. But that's her, also her last Pokemon. Palmat's gonna lose the terrorization and. But Palmont did a really, really, really good job here. I could have lost. I could have lost Palmont at any particular time. It would have been really bad. So, might be a bad option. But I'm gonna switch to Espartha. Kagan does not have a lot of health left. So my essentially my strategy here is to hope that I can take one shot from whatever move it decides to use. Lumina Crash will be not very effective, but it also works special defense. So let's see what, what it, it's actually going to go for. It goes for Stone Edge. Which actually does not do as much damage as I thought it was going to. And the light screen just wore off. So we're good. We're good. I forgot he had light screen on. She had light screen on. Okay, so that's it. So that could have been... That's probably going to be the hardest battle of the Elite Four just because of my lack of fire Pokemon. You see Poppy of the Elite Four. Two down. Uh, uh, 12,508 for winning. I want to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. He'd say, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. That's right. I haven't had, time, had to do this in a long time. Who's next? Oh, it's Larry again. I mean, Larry's going to be a normal user, right? I don't think he's going to swap out his strategy. So actually, I think I'm fine in this particular battle. Hello there, it's me, Larry. Yeah, I think he remembers me, but my Pokemon... I, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to heal after that one. So let's use the, some revives around. I'm going to need three of them. I will say, though, about this game, about the items it leaves around, is I didn't have to buy, like, a, I bought, like, Pokeballs, and that was, like, it. So I think they next time they do this, I understand they want to make it easier for kids, but they really need to not leave the stuff laying around, like, out. Like, I found full resources. I found everything on the ground. And that was just for me exploring. I guess it gives you a little excitement to exploring. I guess maybe that's what they were going for. But still, I think, I think, at least the healing items. Like, I can understand Pokeballs. I can understand maybe, uh... I would say no revives, no max potions, full restores, anything that heals health. So, for example, stuff like uh, energy or um, the antidotes, the paralyzed heal, the burn heals, I get those. But I really think they shouldn't have done that. But anyway, that's me shooting my mouth off. 
So he's going to be most likely the the normal leader. So Palmont would probably be my first choice. However, I want to save Palmont for the last because Palmont might be the MVP in this thing. So, um. His Pokemon are, are going to have... I want someone with high defense. It looks like Psychozar has the highest defensive overall of my entire party. So we're going to put Psychozar up front. We're going to say Palmont for, as a last resort. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.